Once upon a time, in our city of Baltimore, there lived a young girl named Cinderella. She grew up in Lexington Terrace with her father who worked downtown at the Science Center. When Cinderella turned 13, her father married a lady named Miss Bewley. She was from Emerson Village and had two daughters of her own named Jasmine and Jalea. They lived happily, but not ever after. One day, Cinderella's father was tragically killed by a stray bullet on his way home from work. With her father now gone, Cinderella was left to live with her stepmother and her two stepsisters. But the stepmother was a mean old lady. She focused her attention to her own daughters, Jasmine and Julia, and forced Cinderella to work as a servant in her own house. She always had to cook and clean, and she was never allowed to leave the house. Even though Cinderella was miserable, she always had dreams of a better life. She became friends with two mice who visit her window and keep her company every day. Our story begins with Cinderella finding one of her mouse friends stuck inside a mouse trap. Help! Somebody help! I'm stuck in a mouse trap! Kanye, is that you? How did you get stuck? See, what happened was I was minding my own business trying to eat the peanut butter. Peanut butter did all the snot and snap! Kanye, you are so silly. Here, now you are free. Cinderella, hurry up! My breath is not going to make itself, Cinderella! Can't sit to get some peace and quiet. Just one day, I want to just chill and have some fun. One day, I want to leave this house and go to a party. Just once. Cinderella, child, if you don't get down here and start making some food, you better not be up there talking to the mouse like you crazy. <laughs> okay, I have to go now, Kanye. See you later. Here I come. I'm coming. Cinderella says goodbye to Kanye and gives him a few crumbs from her oatmeal cream pie. Yeah, hurry up. You're such a slow folk. Go to the store and get some food. Yeah, hurry up with that food. We want some eggs and bacon and pancakes and oatmeal. Meanwhile, at the Royal Palace in the Inner Harbor, King LeBron was planning a party for his son, Prince Malik. The king is tired of Malik always staying in his room, playing Fortnite. So he decided to throw him a party at Shake and Bake. Today was Prince Malik's birthday. The king wanted him to get out and meet some new people. Son, I have missed you so much. I only see you when you come out of your room to use the bathroom or eat some food. But today is your birthday, and I have decided to throw you a party. Wow, thanks, Dad. That's what's up. I was playing a hop on Fortnite tonight, but the party sounds cool. Besides, I could just play Fortnite on my phone while I'm there. Uh, boy, you are something else. <laughs> While Prince Malik prepares for his birthday party, Cinderella is busy shopping at Domingo's Corner Store on Lexington when she gets a notification on her iPhone. Hey, Prince Malik is going live on IG. Let me check it out. Peace, everybody. Hey, followers. It's your boy, Prince Malik. And you are officially invited to the biggest party of the year. That's right. It's my birthday party. Um, I'm trying to go to that party, but I know Miss Booty won't let me. She always hating. I'm just out here trying to live my best <coughs> life. <sighs> That's right, party people. Don't miss out. Come down to the Shake and Bake tonight and party with me, your boy, Prince Malik. So Cinderella hurries home to get ready for the party. But she knew her stepmother was a hater. Miss Bewley was really a bully. She was always giving Cinderella too many chores, so she was always too busy to have fun. Miss Bewley did that on purpose, of course. Guess what, everybody? You won't believe what I just heard. Womp womp, you're late. We already heard the news. Go down slow. Yeah, it's no quote. We have Instagram too, girl. We already know about the party. And Cinderella, while you were taking so long at the store, your already your sisters already did their chores, but you could not go the, to that party until you finished your chores and find something fancy to wear. But you know I'll never finish my chores in time, and only have one dress that has a hole and needs to be fixed. Jasmine, Julia, can I borrow one of your 
dress is too well? Look, I don't know about that. My dresses are dirty, so I need you to wash them so I have something pretty to wear. You can't wear none of my dresses. That is way too much style for your boy. So, besides, you need to do my hair and paint my nails for the party. But meanwhile, the two mice, Kim and Kanye, have been secretly listening to everything. And they have an idea to help Cinderella. Let's fix the hole in Cinderella's dress and surprise her. Great idea. I will get the needle and thread. She will be so surprised. And sing. Thanks for doing my hair and nails. Hello. Thanks for doing my hair and nails. Looks nice. I guess you're going for something difficult. Come on, Julia. Let's shoot the kitty right here for the party. Our Uber's on the way. Wait for me. I'm going to. I'm almost making my choice. Wait. But as the hour draws late, the Uber driver arrives, and Cinderella has barely finished her chores. And she didn't have time to fix her dress. She sees her stepsisters walking out of the door. And Cinderella is mad. Her sisters are leaving without her. The mice tried their best to fix the dress, but it still was not fabulous. Just then, out of nowhere, Cinderella's room began to shake, as if there was an earthquake happening in West Baltimore. Then, a bright light shined in through Cinderella's window. Look at Lanaya. Abrella, Abrella, have no fear. Your fight grandmother is here. <laughs> my name is Hopra. I'm your fairy godmother, and I will help you, my dear. I see you're having a bad day, and sometimes when you are sad, you need your fairy godmother to remind you you are great. My fairy godmother, Hopra, my stepsisters are so mean to me, and Miss Bully is such a bully. I am really not great at all. Whenever you get sad, just look in the mirror and say to yourself, I am phenomenal. Go ahead, say it out loud. I am phenomenal. No, say it like you mean it. I am phenomenal. I am phenomenal. Yes, say it, girl. <laughs> Cinderella smiles and Fairy Hopra began to wave her magic wand. One, two, three. Poof. The fairy transformed the mice. She turned Kim into a hair and makeup professional and turned, and turned Kanye into a fashion designer. Kim and Kanye immediately sprung into action and gave Cinderella the hookup. Look, Arella, your hair is slayed. Look at those edges. And I hooked this dress up for you real nice. Come on, Cinderella. I have one more surprise for you. Fairy Hopper took Cinderella to a scooter outside, leaning up against the curb. Cinderella thought the fairy was going to put some money on the scooter for her. But instead, Fairy Hopper waved her wand once again and poof, turned the scooter into a Range Rover 4.6 with tinted windows. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Then there was a squeegee boy on the corner just trying to make a couple of dollars. And poof, fairy godmother Hopeworth turned the squeegee boy into a chauffeur to drive them to the party. Can't believe it. Look at my glass slippers with your red bottom heels. Yes, Arella, I'm glad you like them. Now, mind you, all of these fancy things will only last until final strike of midnight. Everything will turn back to normal when the clock struck 12 o'clock tonight. So get to the party and remember, don't stay out past midnight. <laughs> After Fairy hooked up Cinderella, she was off to the party. But Cinderella does not like to walk past a certain corner in her neighborhood. There's a bad guy named Steely who lives there. When Cinderella was 13, she lost her father to a stray bullet. The rumor is Steely had something to do with it. Meanwhile, the royal birthday part party is in full swing and at Shake and Bake, and the stepsister are just arriving, a few minutes ahead of Cinderella. The prince and king are greeting the guests. Malik, speak to the people once they arrive. First, give them a nice smile. Then you say something nice. All right, Dad. Chill. I got this. Look, two guests just walked in. Go introduce yourself. Hi, Prince Malik. Happy birthday. Yeah, hi, Prince Malik. <laughs> just then, Prince Malik notices Cinderella enter the party. Once he sees her, he ignores the stepsisters and introduces himself to Cinderella. First, he smiles, and when he was getting ready to say something nice, King LeBron interrupts with a huge announcement. <clears throat> Let the royal electric slide begin. <laughs> well, shall we dance? Cinderella and Prince Malik dance and dance and dance all night. They did the electric slide, the Cupid shuffle, and the floss, wow. and the woe. <laughs> But in the middle of her Millie Rock, she heard the clock strike 12 midnight. She immediately pushed away from Prince Malik and ran off. Stop, wait, I didn't get your name. Let me at least get your IG or your snap or something. FaceTime me. But it was too late. Cinderella escaped to her Range Rover that quickly turned back to a zip scooter with no funds on it. So she had to scoot it with her foot all the way back home. That's when she noticed one of her glass red bottom heels was missing. It must have fallen off her foot at the party. She was scared and embarrassed and became sad. All of the magic wore off. Her hair and makeup and dress went back to normal. But Cinderella remembered what her fairy godmother told her. I am phenomenal. I don't need a fancy car. I am phenomenal. I don't need fancy clothes. I am phenomenal just the way I am. And those words of encouragement helped Cinderella make it through the land of the bad man named Steely. And she kept saying those words over and over until she made it home safely. Back at the Magic Palace, I'm sorry, back at the palace, Prince Malik awakens the king to tell him what happened. Father, father, last night I met the smartest and funniest and prettiest person I've ever seen. We danced all night, but she, but she suddenly ran away from me. Malik, maybe you needed a breath mint. I told you to brush your teeth before you talk to girls. <laughs> Stop playing, Dad. I'm serious. I think she was cool. Okay, what is her name? I will send someone to find her. She never told me her name. All I have is red bottom hill that she left behind when she ran away. 
Then it is settled. We will make every girl in our city try on this shoe. We must see who the shoe fits. It is settled. Guards, guards, come here at once. With the red bottom heel as the only clue, King LeBron sent Malik on a mission to have the shoe tried on every girl in the city. But Cinderella had no clue the prince would soon arrive to her house looking for her. Jasmine, Jaleel, wake up. That's why I was listening to Ricky Smiley Morning Show and they said Prince Malik is looking for a girl from the party last night. He had a show, shoe that every girl in the Baltimore must try on. He must be looking for one of you. I am so excited. Cinderella heard everything her stepmother said since she was listening through the vent in her upstairs bedroom. So she immediately ran downstairs when she heard this news. Miss Bowie, it was me. I was at the party last night and I danced with the prince. The missing shoe belongs to me. Prince Malik is looking for me. Chill, hush your mouth. There is no way the prince is looking for you. I am going to lock you in your room so Prince Malik will not, will not see you when he comes here. Ha ha ha, go to the room and pick up your mic. Yeah, lock her in the room. So Miss Buley, Jasmine, and Jalea grab Cinderella and take her upstairs to lock her away and hide her from Prince Malik. Hi, girls! Hi! The prince is here! Greetings. As you probably saw in the news, I'm here to try this red bottom hill on every girl in the house. Hello, Prince. It's it is so nice to meet you. I went to high school with your father, King LeBron. We both went to Polly, class of 97. I know that <laughs> is not why you are here, but tell me I said hello. Those are my two daughters, Jasmine and Jalea. I'm sure one of them can fit the shoes. So the prince tried the shoe on Jasmine, but the shoe was too big. He tried Jalea, but the shoe was too small. He scratched his head with confusion. This was the last house in town, and he feared <laughs> there was no girl who could fit the shoe. Is there another girl in the house? There must be someone who could fit the shoe. Yes. No. Nope. Well, the shoe doesn't fit. If the shoe doesn't fit, it's not legit. <laughs> but the mice, Kim and Kanye, had their own plan. Since the stepmother was hiding Cinderella, the mice ran into the room and jumped on Miss Buley's head. They also jumped on Jasmine and Jalea and caused so much commotion, Prince Malik ran upstairs to get out of the way. Once he got upstairs, he heard Cinderella crying behind a locked door to her room. Oh, Hello, no. who is there? Hello, is that you, Prince Malik? Yes, it's me. Your voice sounds familiar. Come try on this red bottle. I am locked in this room and I cannot get out. Alright, alright, I have a surprise for you. Fur gum of a hope proof? One, two, three, poof. <laughs> Magically, the door unlocks and opens to let Prince Malik see Cinderella. Abella, my dear, I heard you say the word I'm phenomenal. And since you remember to say it, I came back to help you. Once again, uh, always remember that you are phenomenal indeed. Thank you, Fry Hofer, and hello again, Prince Malik. Do you remember me? You sound familiar, but you look a little different. Try on this shoe, so I know it's you. Cinderella tries on the shoe, and it fits her foot perfectly. Yeah! <laughs> Prince Malik realizes that she is the girl from the party, but he still does not know her name. See, it fits. I told you it would fit. Nice. I'm glad I found you. I have been waiting all day to ask you this question. What question? Well, first, let me ask you. Will you play Fortnite with me? Of course. <laughs> well, since that is out of the way, can you tell me what's your name? I thought you would never ask. My name is Cinderella, but my friends call me Arella. That is me. My name is Cinderella, and I am phenomenal. Woo-hoo! <laughs> 